Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, a little follow up to one of the videos that I did. Um, I did the exhaust on my XJ900. Um, it's a white bike. Um, my brother happens to own an XJ900S too. Um, his is a sort of burgundy maroon colour. Uh, but given how my bike's sta starting to look with the exhaust all cleaned up and everything, he's decided to do the same. Um, or get it done, which means I'm doing it. Uh, so this is the collector of his bike. As you can see, it looks in really good condition. It just needs a little bit of a clean up. So today, I'm going to get the wire wheel out and that, and uh, sort of get brillo pads, give this a wee bit of a clean up. Um, there is some some tarnish in it, but it, all in all, it, it doesn't look too bad. Um, he has ordered up a new set of collars, similar to the ones that I've bought. Um, and he's got himself Black Widow cans. Um, it's Delcovix on mine, so it's not exactly a carbon copy. Uh, but it'll be it'll be nice to be able to do a comparison uh, once the both bikes are up and running, um, side by side, just to see who who's got the noisiest cans, whether it be the Delcovix or the or the, indeed the Black Widows. Um, so looking forward to that one. Uh, but for now, I'll go and get some water and a hot soapy water, and I'll give this a wee clean. some soapy water on the go now um, and what I'm going to use is what we nail on brush and this will just be able to uh, sort of get in the way at the sort of burnt on tar that you get on these uh, exhaust systems. I'm also going to use this product it's called the pink stuff um, and you get it in the likes of B&M or Home Bargains and stuff like that um, and it's really good it's, it's like an abrasive putty um, so I kind of use that to get rid of the, the majority of the hard burnt on stuff and then when once it's all cleaned um, using the hot water and one of these like brillo pads we can kind of get away most of the stuff and for a final polish what I do is I use this brasso and that kind of just gives a wee shine. Now you don't want to go over the top with this kind of thing because it's just sitting underneath the bike and really the only person that's going to see it is going to be the MOT guy. Other than that it's just it's just going to be hidden from view which is probably why a lot of these rust away because people wash their bikes and they don't really get into the nitty gritty of the sort of underside of the exhaust. People take care of their cans because you can see them and sometimes their headers are visible too unless it's a fully fared bike. But yeah, I like to give the whole exhaust system a little bit of attention. And, you know, it's usually okay once you've got stainless steel parts on. It's it's only really the mild steel that will rot away into holes. So I'm going to crack on with this today um, and see how, how shiny we can get it looking. I want it looking like, well, kind of like the, the one that I did on my bike. I, I'm going to give this the same sort of level of attention. So it's going to take me an hour or two. I'm not going to film the whole lot. Um, it's it's a labour of love. It's it's something that some people probably don't find the time to do. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop recording for now and crack on with this. Right. So the weather's kind of turned here. Um, it has been pouring down with rain. It appears to be off at the moment, but it's kind of holding me up. We're getting this clean. But you know something. We've got to expect it here in the UK. I don't know if uh, people are maybe watching this video elsewhere in the world, but we can get four seasons in one day here. It can be frustrating, but you do kind of get used to it. So some of the marks don't really appear to be coming off of this. And if any of you are doing similar, I wouldn't get like sort of too too hung up on the fact that it doesn't look like new. Because like I said earlier in this video, nobody really sees it. But with these Brillo pads, they kind of they get they get kind of too soft to take the hardest of the stuff out. Um, 
they're great when you first start using them but it is cleaning it it just takes a wee bit of a wee bit of aggression maybe so I have taken a photo of this before I started cleaning it and I'm going to take another photo once I'm finished and I'm going to pop it in here, the before and after, just to let you see the difference here that it's made. Right, I'm kind of done here today. Um, so I've taken a photo, but I had a look through my photos there, and the photo that I took before I started cleaning this, I've, you have, I've had the camera in the wrong orientation, I think, but I'll find that out when I edit this. But anyway, just to let you see, just in case I don't get the photos up on uploaded, it does look really, really good. I mean, it's no new by any any means, but you know, it's it's in really tidy condition, and I'm sure when we fit that to the bike, I've cleaned the headers and we put on these new Black Widow uh, cans. The whole, the whole system's just going to look brilliant. Um, but I'm not going to make it to his bike again today. Uh, I had, did take a photo the other day uh, holding the can up uh, just to let you see on this video what, what they're going to look like. So put that in here as well at the end. Um, but we'll end it here anyway. Um, thanks for watching today. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.